بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وأصلي وأسلم على سيد الأنبياء والمرسلين نبينا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه والتابعين لهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين In the name of Allah the compassionate the merciful All praise is due to Allah the Almighty May glory be to him And may the peace and blessings of Allah be upon his prophet Muhammad His family and his companions all Until the day of resurrection I welcome you to this new episode of a series named Renewal of Faith. Well, does our faith in Allah, in the Almighty, need any renewal? Well, obviously, we know that we are born as believers in Allah. This is the natural tendency. This is what is called in Islam Al-Fitrah, the natural way of having the faith instilled in our hearts and souls. We believe in the Almighty subhanahu wa ta'ala. We believe in His power. We believe in, a, in our need for Him. Whether we are born to a Muslim family or to a non-Muslim family, the most important thing is we need to understand that faith as a basis is there it's part of our natural way part of our creation yet when we talk about the increase of faith that means when faith goes up and up in its level then obviously that's a sign of a healthy faith but then if the faith is weak, or sometimes I would say sick, then obviously we do not do things in the right way. We don't function very well. We have a problem with executing our duties as Muslims. And that would include, for example, performing the prayer, giving the charity or zakah or sadaqah in that respect whether this is an obligatory charity or just voluntary charity or whether we are fasting we talk about the fasting as the month of Ramadan but then you know we, we still talk about the levels of Iman because I know that some Muslims would have the idea that yes at one point in time you didn't feel even wanting to do the obligatory duties which are required by your faith. As a Muslim, you're supposed to act upon that faith and be an obedient person, strengthening your relationship with the Almighty. That is exactly the point where we need to renew our faith. Does our faith stand to the challenges facing it on a daily basis? Does our faith stand strong against the temptations of life, against the need to cross boundaries? Sometimes we call it a need, but it's, in fact it's not really a need. Rather, we are tempted by the devil within ourselves or the devil outside, the shaitan, creeping into our minds and our hearts and pushing us towards doing something that is bad, terrible. How could we do this? Well, obviously, let's recognize the fact that our faith needs to be renewed. Our faith needs to be increased because the faith, depending on the situation, depending on the amount of it, the strength of it, the velocity of it, and so on, can 
dwindle or fluctuate from one side to another. It may go up and go down. And by the way, this is a natural thing. This is recognized from experience, and we can see the effect of it. Of course, faith is something, an abstract idea, which is basically in the heart. But we can see the influence of it. We can see the effects of the faith by executing what the faith, what, what the faith commands, what the faith really uh, entails for us to be strong believers. So if we recognize that fact, and we know that this, this is the belief of the people of Sunnah and Jama'ah, this is the belief of the people who follow the path of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the Sunnah and the way of the Prophet, peace be upon him, and are gathered around it. This is the true way in holding to the teachings of the glorious Quran and the traditions of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And the hadith supports that where Ibn Abbas radiallahu ta'ala anhu reported that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam said, إِنَّ الْإِيمَانَ لَيَخْلَقُ فِي جَوْفِ أَحَدِكُمْ كَمَا يَخْلَقُ الثَّوْبِ فَاسْأَلُوا اللَّهَ أَنْ يُجَدِّدَ إِيمَانَكُمْ Verily, the faith within the side, the inside of each one of you does wear out just like what you wear, just like the dress you wear will wear out. So ask Allah, the Almighty, to renew your faith. Well, look at this similitude of the faith to a dress, meaning that yes, the dress can be taken out and you can clean it and put it on again because when having it on obviously it will be tarnished it will be faced with uh, many things that will uh, affect its purity and nice look because when you put it on as an, a, a fresh piece of cloth it will shine on it will really uh, uh, make your life very uh, interesting, very, very positive. You will have the effect of it. You know that it is something good for you to do. Well, but then as we have these challenges and temptations in life, again, this faith will be affected and the color of the dress will be affected and the freshness, the nice look of a newly dressed dress or piece of cloth will be worn out. And obviously Iman is just like that. Unless you renew the faith, unless you really increase it, unless you make it more powerful and, tar and, 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 and clean it all the time, it will be affected. That's why we will say that we need to renew our faith. Look at what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in the glorious Quran. Ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu, aminu. O ye who believe, believe. Well, you are a believer. Yes, you do have the originality of the faith. But then you need to renew it. يَا أَيُّهَا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا آمِنُوا بِاللَّهِ وَرَسُولِهِ وَالْكِتَابِ الَّذِي نَزَّلَ عَلَى رَسُولِهِ وَالْكِتَابِ الَّذِي أَنزَلَ مِنْ قَبْلِهِ So you believe in Allah, you renew your faith in Allah and the book that was revealed uh, upon His Messenger and the book that was revealed earlier. That's, that's the point because we do need to renew the faith. How do we renew the faith? Well, there are many things that will strengthen our Iman, that will stand against the challenges. That's why we need to have these series of, uh, this series of episodes regarding this. And I think this is the wish 
of every Muslim. This is an aspiration for every Muslim to have a strong Iman. Well, the strength of Iman is important because it will make you uh, standing strong. It will face the challenges. It will uh, keep you from being unhappy or affected. Because if you don't have that strong Iman, you may get so much dragged into things that will end a person into something terrible in life. They may even get sick. They may be affected. Look at how Iman shines on the face, when, when, on the face of a person. When this person even is hit by a calamity or by uh, a, 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 a trouble, this person stands strong because he has a connection with the Almighty. And he believes that whatever happens to him or to her is coming from Allah and by the will of Allah, by the knowledge of Allah, by the permission of Allah. And that's why this person doesn't have a problem. He will submit to it. He will accept it. He will deal with it. He will try to uh, rectify the situation. But this person is not going to fall down is not going to submit and leave and abandon that faith or that challenge. This is the sign for a strong believer. This is a sign that your level of Iman is so strong, just like charging a battery. Well, if your battery is, for example, for a car or a cell phone or any device or machine that you are operating, if that battery is fully charged, then you feel comfortable and you have no problem even, you know, if, if you use it for a long period of time because you know you have enough in storage, you have enough power. But the, the power will run out after some time. That's why you need to recharge, you have to renew, you have to put in more power in, inside that. That is exactly what we're going to do. This is exactly what we're going to deal, deal with. And this is exactly what will be done in the series to come, inshallah, where, you know, we'll address the things that will increase your iman, the things that will make your iman very, very strong and up to the maximum level, if possible, by the, Allah, by the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. May Allah increase us in iman. May He give us the strength in this life to stand against all challenges and to believe strongly in him in order to benefit in this life as well as in the hereafter. Until the coming episode, I leave you with Allah's care and protection. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I want to testify that we have one God and his name is Allah. He's the 